Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Center Back. I'm Jeff Crandall, joined again by Kevin Egan. The Chicago Fire earned a 2-2 draw on the road at D.C. last Saturday, thanks in part to an individual moment of brilliance from Patrick Niaco late in the match. Kevin Pat returns to the field on Saturday. Talk about his performance. Yeah, it was lovely to see Patrick back on the pitch. I think he naturally uh, was always going to do a good job against a DC that was really looking to go on and win the game. You're always going to get that chance on the counter-attack. And Patrick really was, cr was cradling the sideline, uh, which the team needed because the team was quite narrow. So overall, a good performance from Patrick. A strange game, really. Uh, DC looked like they were going to go on and win it. Quincy Ameriqua popped up with a wonderful Patrick assist. It's good to get that point. Disappointing, though, that the Fire, one, have not kept a clean sheet so far this season and two have failed to get all three points. The fire has been on the road an awful lot though, three away games in three uh, dodgy conditions really from the heat of LA all the way to the freezing cold of DC with the rain. So it'd be good to get back against uh, Philadelphia Toyota Park. Well the fire don't have a win, they do have three draws on the trot unbeaten and three as they welcome Philadelphia Union to Toyota Park on Saturday. Kevin, what can we expect from this game and is it is it the, is it time for the first win on Saturday? Yeah of course it is, of course it is. Philadelphia a very good side with an excellent midfield. Jack Mack offers plenty of threats going forward as well but they're a little bit slow at the back so I'd expect Quincy Ameriqua to try and run those channels and really get at uh, the likes of a Kugo. I certainly thought Fabio was caught out for pace an awful lot of, uh, against the, the aging the aging Marco De Vallo. So I thought I think there's plenty of opportunities there. Mike McGee needs to get an awful lot closer to Quincy though and offer plenty of support. Kevin, Chicago Fire Weekly rolls on on Saturday on ESPN 1000. What's our True Car Hotline question this week? The question for you is this week, who is the most iconic player to ever wear the red of the Chicago Fire? Is it Novak? Is it Armas? Is it CJ Brown or maybe even Mike McGee? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Hashtag Fire Weekly. So Chicago Fire Weekly, 7 to 8 a.m. on ESPN 1000 with myself, Jeff and Fred Hubner. And then don't forget, Dan Kelly and I will be along with the True Car pregame show at 3.30 against the Philadelphia Union on Saturday. It promises to be a good one. Also stay tuned to Chicago-Fire.com this week for news on how the Fire will be honoring a club legend at this weekend's game. For myself, Jeff Crandall, Kevin Egan, this has been The Center Back. We'll see you next week.